All right, can anyone hear me this time? Testing, testing, testing. Alright, it looks like I'm working this time, so let's try this again. I'm not sure what went wrong with the volume and the broadcast last time. I haven't changed anything, so let's just jump straight back into it. We're going to do the quick, quick Spaceballs version, I think. Let me get Season 11 up. Uh, Tipping... Here we go. Right. Green team versus Amazons. Let's try this. Details. Do do do. Green team. I've got the uh, comments open now on Twitch. So if you can't hear me, either shoot me a Discord PM or uh, hit me on here. So. We're still, unfortunately, Delsmar's still short on a bit of skills, it looks like. Having a bit of a rough time with his sources, staying alive, I would, I would assume. Does have a block, Godzilla. Love it. All right, I'm all good. Fucking finally. Uh, uh, but he's got a strength five, which is good, and a wrestle. So not too bad. We've really got, you know, three of them uh, kitted out. And a strength 5, you could argue, is just as good as block. But he's got 110k. I feel like he probably needs a uh, another skink just to help him out. Because even though he's going against Amazons, he's up against loners Amazons. I know it's Lonro, but he's loners to me. Have a look at that. He's finally got someone who's injured, which is uh, a beauty to see. Uh, if I get interrupted, I apologise. Kids are running around. We've got three guard still active though. Look at this for uh, Blodge, Shaw Hands, and F uh, Fend. Looking good. One tackle only against all the skinks. Should be interesting. And only one wrestle. So, might be a little bit hard to keep the skinks down, but. I'm just going to go with uh, Amazon here. Basically, he's the Ma he's the Maccabi diva of our group. You just bet against it, a bet on him every time, and he will probably win about 30 matches in a row. Pretty simple. Coming up next, who we got? Chaos versus High Elves. It's the stadium. Let's have a look. Oh, we got Juggernaut. And Claw. Can't get much better than that, except for Block, but I like the look of that. That's right, this is the f passing Chaos team. So you've got a Beastman with Pass. I'm assuming Sure Hands might be the next one, just for picking up. And you've got a Beastman who's got his uh, extra arms. Let's have a look at that. I, I do like seeing the graphics. There we go. Extra arms looking nice. Couple of blocks, only two blocks though for a Chaos team in the second season is a bit rough. Chaos Warrior, Chaos Warrior. And he's up against High Elves, who bring an extra 50k. So, an agility 5, so Chaos bringing the passing game versus arguably one of the best passing teams. With an agility five, you've got the safe throw, you've got the blodger, 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 blodger. And he's got more block than a chaos team, which is gonna be a bit rough. So just on paper, I'm going to say high house, especially the high house coming off a uh, three-one win from last week. And then of course, we've got 
undead versus a, I assume an absolutely beaten up Praetorian team. So now the consequences suffered probably the worst season last last season, but they're looking pretty good now. Two guard, excellent, and just f look at that three better to get their next level ups. White with Frenzy. I probably would have liked Tackle, personally. Um, Shorehands Blodge, fantastic. Another Ghoul. So he's only got the two Ghouls, I think. Which, considering how quickly they drop, it's uh, probably, a, probably a good deal. Um, three rerolls. Nothing wrong with that. How is he going to compare to a Bretonian team? Now, when you see this team, just remember, they played Amazons to get looking like this. Look at that. That's just... Yeah. Best Blitzer. Gone. The next best, best Blitzer, or arguably the best Blitzer, gone. Take out a blocker, take out a blocker. So, in the Battle of Guard, he's lost two out of his three. He's lost his Mighty Blow and Tackle piece against Undead. Oh, sorry, I was thinking about Amazons. But regardless, ball skills are down. I'm going to say Pickle should win this. It, he's managed to catch Cedric at a time where four of his best players are missing. There's really... Probably no excuse for Pickles not to uh, get the win on this one. So that's that round. Let me go back. Do, 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 do. Wank Tank. So Wank Tank and Turd Knob Mob. We will be doing an inter-group challenge. And we'll do that at the end of this one. Let me just bring it up. Who we got? Orcs versus Underworld, that's right. You've got the one, Hedgy, who plays using the Chaos Fury versus uh, the cold clinical playstyle of Luke Adrian. So let's have a look at Chaos Fury first. Look at them. So we're down a Black Orc, but we've got our Tackle Piece Mighty Blow, which Going up against Underworld, you would assume that this is going to be trying blitzing every single turn to try and really leverage that Mighty Blow tackle. Uh, blitzer with Guard, that's nice. Grab, not too bad. I'm not too sure why he's got Grab. It's definitely better skills. It's not the worst, but I guess for sideline surfs, um, you can definitely... Make sure that those uh, sidestepping wood elves and stuff like that can't get around you. Followed up obviously against the uh, Frenzy. So he's really got a mix of all of them, which it's not too bad. I like it to be of a toolbox. Standard thrower. Block on two of his Black Orcs. And of course you've got your little Goblin. But I don't think... Nope, no troll. No troll. But if you want to see a troll... Let's have a look at Luke Adrian's. There we go. A troll. Let's quickly open that up and check out the claws. There they are. Not the best animation, but what can you do? But that's not what we're here for, not the trolls. They're here for the Skaven throwers. Look at them go. The little twins. Strength 4. Blodge, block, fantastic. Most of the game plan will be around those guys. You've got your beautiful Skaven Blitzer guard, and then you've got a kill piece. It's a very, very nice team. Um, a wrestle on a Skaven lineman, I love it. One down, so he'll have a loner unless he wants to buy a new player. It's gonna be rough, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna say a draw. Unless Hedgy decides that he's going to just do things for fun, in which case I'm going to say uh, Luke Adrian's going to win. But if, uh, 
if Hedgie decides that he wants to uh, play solid, I, I, I expect a draw between two very good coaches. Uh, that leaves the chaos off. So Druid had a bit of a rough start last season, had to rebuild. So a lot of players with one skill. And a lot of mutations. So foul appearance. Let's have a look. What's a foul appearance look like? Nah, nothing. Um, definitely leveraging on the mutant on the mutation. So, you know, all power to draw there. But obviously having some fun picking picking that, which is I mean, if you're going to go down the fair appearance, why not play Nurgle? I wonder. But who cares? You've got two Strength 5 Chaos Warriors. Beautiful. Uh, hands. Yeah, just... Again, I'm not too sure where this team's going. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure what he's placed or, or how he intends to win matches. But let's have a look at how else you can build a Chaos team. So, Claw, again, seems to be standard. Mutation, so I think that's all three Chaos teams have taken the extra arms. But he's got Block on all his Chaos Warriors, so... Strength 4 with Block versus a couple of Strength 5 with no Block. It'll be an interesting battle. Uh, one with Mighty Blow. Bit even, really. Um, a bit even. I'll go with a draw, but Saxon probably should win. But they're pretty even teams. If the block comes in and Chaos Warriors fight each other, block will obviously be the deciding factor. So we'll see how we go with that. Which then leaves the Wood Elves. We'll have a look at them before we jump to the next group. He's now up to two re-rolls after I think starting with only one, if not any. What have we got? So he's gone for the frenzy route instead of the uh, standard uh, tackle and strip ball. But he does have a strip ball there. So we'll see if his opponent has sure hands coming up next. One sure hands, one sprinter, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, two turns away. I'm assuming probably sidestep will be the next skill for him, just to really emphasize that one turn touchdown potential. Pretty standard. War dancers do war dancer stuff, and then he's got a very light team. So 150k, 1280. He will be playing against, let's jump in there. Make sure I press the right button. Notorious for not doing that. Ah, oh, Necro. Pass dog, what did you do? And if you are wondering what did he do, whoop, wrong guys. Pass dog did not see a tackle zone around turn three or turn four in his first match. And mistakes happened. What sort of mistake? A minus strength busted werewolf that had mighty blow and piling on. That's two doubles on that werewolf. And then just a double down on his luck. Instead of uh, sacking him and getting a new werewolf, he bought a new reroll and, and burnt his cash. So, bit of a rough trot, but he got the win. And that's all that matters. It's, he got the win. Tackle. He's got a werewolf block. And I think we're going to see that guy go ballistic every turn. If he can chase the catches, he's got two dice with tackle against catches left, right and center, which I think you'll see. Just watch out for tackle zones. Two stand firms, I love it. One with block already, even better. Only the one tackle, but that's all right. He does have sure hands. So the strip ball, this ghoul is going to be key. He's going to have to protect him. And how's he going to get protected? By having his two whites with guard, opposite corners of the cage. Followed by the flesh golems and just let the werewolf run run wild. So it's going to be a good match. I wouldn't mind uh, commentating this one, to be honest. I don't know much about his opponent other than his uh, Lucas friend from Melbourne. Shout out. Um, 
good luck tipsters could be a draw could be a win it all comes down to armor value seven and those war dancers because i hate war dancers who else we got we've got dwarves versus kislev two of the nicest funnest opponents you'll ever come against Bubba and blake let's go up there uh, how have kislev pulled up after a rough starting season we're looking pretty good we've got, we've got our bear and the Julie d5 catcher disgusting a strength up blitzer so no guard yet Rolf Harris going to be jumping into the, uh, the cages trying to get those uh, balls out blitzer with block not too bad yeah, it's looking pretty good it's got the dodges going Kislev will just do Kislev but you know you've got all the dodge against the stunty high elves let's have a look I call them stunty high elves because they pass more than most teams oh we've got a blitzer down with mighty blow but not tackle so it doesn't matter Robert E. Lee, the blodger. Did he did you seriously bypass Bubba? Is that pass? <laughs> oh well done. Well done. Pass. I love it. Guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, love it. All the guard. Mighty blows tackles standard dwarves really um i'm gonna go dwarves i think it's just too much guard too much tackle mighty blow and these guys can actually pass so should be a good match but i'm gonna put down bubba for the win on this one which leaves ah uh, yes high elves versus Covey. so let's have a look at the high elves Baldwin going well actually hopefully that movement guy's dead nah son of a bitch he's still alive ah right so and now he's got dodge I swear to god that guy's gonna be the death of me not a fan of that but he does very well block he can come from a long way away dodge into you smash you in the face very good is that kick all right, so we've got, yep, kick on the thrower, not too bad. Make it a bit of a utility thrower. Uh, wrestle and tackle. And the catcher, so he's a sacker. Catches, nothing much else. He's already got the dodge, which is fantastic. But he's got the four catches now, which I love. We've got a blitzer blodging with an agility five. You, you just know that uh, Bowman would have loved that on one of his catches. And he's managed to pick up a, a guard, so looking good for the High Elves. And of course, Kobe, who was definitely going to lose last week, but still somehow won. Let's have a look. There we go. Oh, block. Just everywhere. 13 players, three re rolls. One tackle, two tackles, fantastic. And one of them is on the wolf, which is even better. Berserker, here we go. Mighty blow and piling on, fantastic. Sure hands runner with Thoughtless, yep. And a strength four. Movement six, it's gonna be a bit of a position game. I think if the wolf and the uh, Sneezy E can do some damage i think the high elves it will just cascade and the high elves will drop but i mean the high elves can just score whenever they want especially with their throwers and four catches should be a good match i want to say kobe should win i'm gonna say that borwin's probably gonna win so i'm gonna tip a draw isn't that helpful i'm actually tick all three boxes but i think this is one of those matches which 
you can even even if you get it wrong in the tips you can't be too upset it's it's just a very close game between the two of them we should leave the last one let's have a look back it up do 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 turn herd make sure i press the right button hey i didn't fuck it up for the first time ever who we got Luke Stewart versus Moy. Let's have a look. Goblins who just finished. Still on the team bus going back to the hotel. A thrilling he managed to do a one turn touchdown on think on turn fifteen or turn sixteen to get the two one win over the uh dwarves actually. So didn't suffer much damage unfortunately. I was really hoping the dwarves could, you know, eliminate some of these players. But uh Alas, that was not the case. Break tackle on strength five. Beautiful. Got a loony. Got a fanatic. So, it's going to be a bit of an issue for my high armor dwarves. Wrestle, block. Hasn't really got much, but he will bring in Ripper with this. So, Ripper should come in. Unless I decide to cut some TV somewhere. Let's have a look at my team. Who I should... I'm sure everyone tipped a draw. Except for Covey, who should have known better. So I'm a little bit over the gold. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Either pick up a third re-roll. Or I might just cut it. Not sure yet. I'll do the maths. Um... Managed to not level anyone last turn, last game, and managed to score a draw, which was disappointing to say the least. Um, pretty standard, really. You've got your two claws, you've got your four blocks. Um, I got a sure hands hobgoblin and break tackle block on two of those. Um, you would have thought I could have been wood elves, but I couldn't, so probably a draw against goblins I'll somehow not be able, I'll probably be able to punch them down but not hurt them and um, I'll probably lose maybe one of my best players and then the apo will kill him just for good measure that's my tip uh, here we got vampires versus wood elves here we go Commie I believe he just beat Kemri so he's 10k over how many higher vampires have we got one two three blodge 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 one with pro so looking amazing that's that's pretty much what you want in your vampires block for all god no big deal four re-rolls wrestle strip ball sure hands i mean falls are falls aren't they you're not really they're not there for anything else these guys are the stars And they're up against. Well, uh, let's have a look. Brog Donetti. We're missing some players. Who are we missing? Do, do, do. We've got. Let's have a look anyway. Oh, that's why I killed a player. Actually, nope. I lie. I'm pretty. No, I did kill a player, and then the rock took. The crowd took out two players for me. So 1271, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So he's going to still add 140 on top of that. So might see a wizard. What is that? 140. Yeah. Might see a wizard come out for this one, which would be interesting. Alignment picked up a strength. That's a nice one. So that's a new upgrade. Michael J. Cox, welcome to the family. Uh, yeah, strip ball, does a thing. Followed by, he's got his leader. So he's got three re-rolls thanks to the leader. It's gonna be interesting, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put down wood elves for this one. I think they should have, they should be able to counteract those three vampires and uh, run away from the rest of the fools. Which then leaves, Oh, these two guys, Kemri, Dwarves. Let's have a look. 
very unlucky to uh, lose last round to the Goblins. Let's see, uh, looking good though. A runner with movement seven. Uh, a blitzer, agility four, fantastic. With mighty blow, agility with mighty blow, yeah, yeah, not too bad. Guard, only two guards, so a little bit more interesting compared to, say, Bubba. Um, Bubba's managed to get a lot of his long beards going. Let's have a look at Camry. I know Camry were a couple of skills. I'm about to get a couple more skills. One, two, ah, there's still four of them. Boo. Mighty Blow. Stand firm. I like that. Stand firm. I think that's good. Uh, pass, kick off, return. I just got that from my whole goblin. Fantastic skill. I really. I think it's definitely worthwhile for that skill. A leader on the thrower, so. Holy shit, four rerolls. Alright. Let's do it. Four rerolls. I'm surprised he's not dropping a reroll here. I don't think four is really that necessary. Uh, I guess with the Tomb Guardians, if he wants. Yeah. I think he could probably save 70 on his team value by dropping one of those rerolls. Otherwise, he's, he does have one tackle, which, and one block. It's gonna be interesting. He's got the guard, he's got the strength, but the other guys have got Dauntless. It's gonna be a close one. I f you know what? I'm gonna go Frenzied. He's been, uh, I've been seeing his posts in the uh, tabletop version. He's really got, he's really got the hang of Kemri and the play style. And I think, I think he's gonna go well this game, so. I'll go frenzy for this one. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tip show. Good luck to all you who are tipping. And uh, hope, you, hope you roll well in the next round. Take care guys.